Okay, I was going to go over real quick a review of these Harbor Freight tools. Sanders, um, this one's Harbor Freight tools, this one's Harbor Freight tools. Harbor Freight tools has one that's just like this one. This is, I don't know, I got it from somebody, they gave it to me. Um, and this is a, the real deal. This is a uh, uh, Detroit pneumatic ND or whatever. Uh, these are really good. But let me talk about these sanders here. What sander, if you don't have a lot of money and <clears throat> you want to buy a sander and you say, hey, I'm going to go to Harbor Freight Tools and I'm going to grab one of these cheap sanders right here. Okay. I don't know what the ratings are on them, but I'm going to tell you what they actually use in CFM. This one here, you're going to probably need about 25 CFM to run. And that's about it. You know, it's it, this thing. It, this thing sucks the air right here. This one's about the same, maybe a little bit less. Um, you can run it for a while with a little bit less CFM, and eventually, you can run it with about 18 CFM, maybe 20. Okay, this one will run on a really low amount of CFM. I don't know the exact amount, but I have I think 15 CFM in my. Uh, compressor will way over keep up with this. In fact, if I let off on the trigger for a little while, the compressor will catch right up with it and shut off. Um, this one, this is a real Detroit pneumatic, okay? The real thing, you know, it's not a fake one. They all look, they look the same, but they're not. So this one uses about 10 to 12 CFM. Okay, so let's talk about the, the, the other things about these sanders that's, that's good and bad. Okay, this sander here is Harbor Freight Tools. Notice this aluminum trigger that's on here. I had to make that. Um, the reason I like this sander is because it's super quiet. It has a little muffler that's on here, and I removed that because it just falls off. It's garbage. Trigger's garbage. This thing's garbage. This sander is about 50 bucks. I mean, so for 50 bucks, the quietness, um, if you're doing stuff in a residential area, uh, noise you should be very concerned about. So if you don't want to piss off your neighbors, piss off your neighbors, you're going to have people over your house bothering you all the time, telling you that you can't do what you're doing, working on your own car or whatever. They're, they're going to give you hassle. So uh, this has a, I, I took, I'd use everything hook loop. And they come with one of these PSA, that's no good. The, the sandpaper you're constantly going to be having to, um, constantly have to replace the sandpaper. But you are replacing a lot with this, and the more direct hook loop isn't really much more money at this point. They're about the same price. So you go ahead and uh, this sander right here has an eighth inch throw. So it is a little bit slow sanding, but it does a good job. This sander is actually a pretty good sander other than the trigger and this thing, the uh, muffler. Not bad from Harbor Freight Tools. This one here, unless you got a gazillion dollar compressor, it's pretty much useless. Yeah, it runs for about a minute or two, and then you've pretty much run yourself out of air, even with a five horsepower, 60 gallon. So you'd need a seven and a half horsepower compressor. They're about two to three thousand dollars. So the money you saved buying this tool will pretty much cost you on the other end. Okay, this sander isn't too bad. It it does have it sands better than this one as far as power goes. Um, but again, uh, you don't you get what you pay for. This is a forty fifty dollar sander. This is a three hundred dollar sander. Um, and they don't make this one anymore, I don't think. Uh, maybe they do. It might be available. Dynabride bought out uh, Detroit Pneumatic. And Dynabride sanders I heard are really good. Now this sander here is really fast sanding. This thing will take it down so quickly and use very little air. Um, so getting a good sander is worth it in the long run. If you don't have a lot of money, 
and you just want to get one, the Harbor Freight Tools one for 50 bucks. They call it the composite sander is probably the best value for a brand new sander. You will break the trigger. The muffler will fall off um, and it's really loud without the muffler. The reason I use it again is because it's quiet. This one's noisy. This one's pretty noisy. This one's a bit noisy. And uh, sometimes I'll, you know, depends if I'm sanding outside, then I'll use this one. If I'm, I'll use the sand in the garage with the door shut, but that one is a little louder. Okay, so that's Harbor Freight Tool Sanders compared to some of the others. And uh, let me get a heads up when you, before you go buy one.